Hello guys! Welcome back to another episode from Clan and Mado here from Berlin. Um, it's my first full day so I'm gonna explore um, actually just out on the streets. It's my first full day so this morning I just went to the went to the gym and yeah, didn't, didn't do much. Honestly I was so exhausted from that long um, train journey. So I gonna so I went to the gym, I responded to some comments from you guys and yeah so it's afternoon time and I gonna head to a local cafe um, check that out see if it's if it's good I don't know if I mentioned the area so we're in um, Berlin Schöneberg it's a really cool neighborhood where my friend David is living and the weather is absolutely amazing not hot not cold as you know I don't like when it's too hot um, so yeah uh, and the plan for this video is not um, not much. I'm gonna check out the coffee. I'm gonna have a matcha latte. To see if it's really great. And then actually in, in the streets there's a few supermarkets. There's a Turkish supermarket and a Asian supermarket. And I wanna see what type of foods and groceries and stuff they're gonna sell if it if it if it can keep up with the um, uh, Asian places we've traveled to in the past. So yeah. That's the objective for today. I hope you're excited for the first um, vlog here in Berlin. So the coffee place I'm gonna visit is actually Coffee Pony and it's just around the corner. It has 4.7 reviews. And if you know me, I always check the Google reviews. So it has to be good, but I wanna see it. And my friend recommended it too and he knows the place, so yeah. What can I tell about the area? So afterwards I'm gonna check out more about the area. My friend told me it's a beautiful area to live in. Here you go, coffee pony. Let's check it out. Hi, hello. <laughs> can I there you go. Got my beautiful matcha latte. With a love heart. Mm, amazing. Amazing. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't, I can't really film like the place. Um, I think that's a common thing in Germany. Um, like that, we have a lot of rules, and people don't like getting filmed, so you always have to ask for permission in advance. So, I'm gonna enjoy this. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Richtig gut, danke. <laughs> and then I'm gonna head and check out Berlin, Schöneberg. Okay, my friend David just joined me for a coffee. We were just talking about because I find it really challenging in Germany to um, film people and there's more rules and you know you can't just walk in and everything. So I might just film my face a bit more. <laughs> yeah, no, that's always a very really good idea. Just film yourself with people in the background. You know what I sometimes do? Like if I'm really interested in somebody and I don't want to take a picture, I just take a picture of me, <laughs> you know, with the person in the background. He definitely helps me to replace Glenn this weekend ah! because he's my extroverted friend and he likes to approach people and everything. But like David, what's your the, what's the favorite thing to do in Schöneberg? Favorite thing to do, I would say, um, going around, uh, walking, and uh, uh, going to the restaurants because there's so many places, uh, so many restaurants over here, so many nice supermarkets over here. So you can do um, different stuff like go to a bar, have a drink, uh, go to various restaurants with your it's, friends. It's so lively. It's Berlin very always lively. Is like, so, uh, so I mean, lively. think about just look around. It's so lively. <laughs> Well, there's nobody in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what I also noticed, I mean, I know that already there's so many different types of food. Well, that's a pizza yes. place and yes. there's so many types if of food. If you don't know what pizza is. They know what pizza is. Shout you. <laughs> okay, and, and you're from India. Calcutta. Yes, Calcutta, yeah, yeah, yes. Calcutta. Okay, so have you found a really good Indian um, place? Uh, yeah, well, uh, a restaurant. Uh, are you trying to put me on the spot over here, Marlon? <laughs> you know me very well. I'm Indian, so he's, I'm very proud of my yeah. cuisine. And uh, I always find the Europeanized Indian cuisine to be a little bit 
strange, let's say. And not I mean, as spicy. It's, it's, we yeah. we lived together for a lot of time, yeah. for a long time, and um, his food was very spicy at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so over the years, it became less spicy. <laughs> and for me, yeah, I have to make tone it down just from her. Yeah, know, yeah. like. But still, uh, the taste is good. Just the flavor, sometimes I find a little bit different. Yeah. But there is uh, one or two Indian restaurants around the corner, which is very good. The taste is very nice. Maybe yeah. we should check the dal. We out. should. Yes, yes, the dal. We yes. should eat some and dal. We have to uh, also uh, have chole bature, which is a very uh, famous Indian, okay. North Indian dish. Actually. Okay. Maybe we should make a video and try and. That. Yes, we are going to do kebab later actually from one of the famous places. Actually, I just want to see, I, I want to film this nice looking vegetable. I always come over here. Is that a Turkish place? The Turkish yes, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. The, the, the vegetables look delicious. Look I generally really delicious. buy from here because it's really nice and everything is very fresh. Um, you know, you can see the, the strawberries and the fruits. I love um, Turkish supermarkets. Honestly, like I, if you watch our previous videos, we've been to Turkey, and I really enjoyed it. Turkish breakfast, honestly, my favorite. <laughs> Absolutely yes. delicious. Actually, we should go inside and check out if they have kaymak. That's my favorite thing. Okay. Have you heard of that? No. That's like a milk product, like a cream, and you eat it with um, ah. honey. We should actually check out if they have that. Okay. Because if they have that, we have to buy it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna film my face. Eingang, kein Eingang. Keine Eingang. That Keine means Eingang. no exit. No, uh, yes. I'm actually, actually so... no entry. No. So, yeah, it's yeah. no entry. So I'm actually so surprised because your German is pretty good. Oh, danke schön. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Hello. So the, the yogurt or the milk section is over there. Okay. They have very good meat as well. Okay, let's check if they have that. It's a milk product. And this I is very nice. Cheese. Oh, Glenn can do like uh, 15 of these and just do like a uh, hand, uh, I don't know, press. A uh, bicep press. Yeah, so you know Glenn too, huh? Eh? From yes. my time we live together. Yes! That handsome, hunky guy. I just touched. <laughs> I just. Uh, the first oh, maybe, day, I think, I, I remember, this. but I just went to Glenn and said that, can I touch your calves? Because he has massive calves. I was yeah. like... I think everyone loves Glenn muscles. Huh? Yeah, of course, all the gays especially. Um, so, I can't find it. Oh, no, 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 there, there it is. <gasps> there it is. Really? If, if you know me, um, I actually said in one of our videos I would just return to Turkey just for the Kaimak. So we have to try that. And if you haven't tried it, yes. so we should buy one. Yes, Kaimak. Some it's honey? Like, what is that? I have a. I have actually some uh, like not honey, but uh, yeah. Um, it's um, uh, so sweet it's like Ram Erzeugnis. So it's yeah. like um, like a milk product. I actually mm -hmm. cannot translate it. I don't know how to translate that, but yeah, like cream. Just cream. Like zane. Yeah, it's like yeah, cream. Yeah. Zane, it's yeah. cream. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we should we should get that. See, my German is good. Y your German is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get that. Give give yeah. We we learning some German here. Gewürzpaste. That means a herb paste. Yes. Herb paste. <laughs> <laughs> you come over here twice a week? Yes, I oh, come over have here twice a week. And, things and like uh, this. I buy like the vegetables and the fruits are very nice and the have meat you been is to very Turkey? nice. No, you haven't been. No, no, I haven't been. No. I have to say it's pretty authentic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really authentic. All the olive oil. Is it from Turkey though? I mean, I got uh, the olive oil from here, I think this one. I have this one, if you remember. Yeah, you do. Where is it from? The, the small one. Turn, turn around. Uh, I think this one is... Where is it from? Mm. But also, I like, prefer the, the olive oil in black bottle, because olive oil is best preserved in black bottle, always. So if you want to buy olive oil, buy in black bottle. What is this? 
Some sort of a sweet, I you think. Yeah, like baklava. Yeah, oh, but, but the fresh one is so amazing. Yes, yeah. But over here it's a little bit sweeter than usual. I've tried their baklava. Of course. One euro sixty nine for Time Mag. I'm gonna yeah. try it later. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's also something I noticed the last time when I went to Berlin. It's so diverse, it's so international. Yes, there is uh, cuisines from uh, countries that I don't even know that where cuisines existed. Like, <laughs> there's so many. I, I think I have at least seen 30 to 35 different cuisines in my five months, six months over here. Yeah. All right, so what are we going to do next? Going go to, to the Asian, Asian market? Asian yeah. supermarket? Okay, let's go. There it is, Asian supermarket. <laughs> How often do you go there? Uh, maybe like once every two months because oh, yeah? it's very expensive. Like mm. I, I don't buy a lot of stuff, it's really expensive. Okay. Like in Dublin as well, similar prices in Dublin. Yeah, because they import a lot of things. Yeah. Eh? yeah. So, so I mean, I get a sauce. There is a sauce, a particular sauce that I really like that I get from here. And if I'm getting noodles, ramen noodles, yeah. I love from here. Anything, anything which is like authentic Chinese. Yeah. Uh, so you get more Asia. Chinese um, things. Uh, more you get Chinese anything things, from. Yeah. You get anything from India? No, because no? they don't really have too much. No. Stuff. Oh wow! Well. Look at the huge amount of rice. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you buy bags of rice. Yes. Yeah. Asian kitchen chopsticks. Yeah, we do have that a lot, like the and the the, the oh, dumpling. Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, for the dumpling. And all them cool bowls. I mean, this is so again, this is so funny. This is like your oh, that's so This nice. is like your crystal. Like they sell it for obviously like 129. It's but like then, in India it's like 20 India, cents or so. 20 cents or 1 cent. 1 cent. Oh, maybe I should buy some here, you <laughs> know. Incense, guys. I love incense. Mmm. Okay, but 129 is not that bad actually. I've seen in some shops you pay 4 euro. That's handle. I always love it. It reminds me of like my. Oh, musk is nice too. Yes. Now that I, you have brought me over here, I'm definitely probably going to buy something. What do you want to buy? I think dumplings. Like, I love dumplings. <laughs> but, like, David, I found a place where you can get Nepalese momo, so you should go there. We can go there uh, today if you want. Which one is the place? Because I, I love the Nepalese momo so much, so I want to check them out again. And I found a place actually. Maybe I should try them. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not the cheapest place one um, for no, coconut milk. I mean, Compared I, to Asia, it's... Um, like... Yeah, you can spend a lot of money on coconut milk. Oh, but these brands are all from Asia, no? I think I've seen this before in Asia. In these it's ones. So I met somebody... The uh, European... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very Europeanized Indian brand like Ashoka and Ashoka, okay. Asian home garment. I mean, it's like, I think I have heard from my Chinese friend, like if something is written in English, then generally that's Europeanized because it's written in their language. Oh, so yeah, it will be written sense, in like sense. my language. Like let's say something like that, but without the English part then it would be like more Chinese, like something like that, I guess. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing English written in it, yeah. But uh, some of these soy sauce are very good, like, yeah, Amo is very famous, but this one is very David, nice. what do you miss the most from Indian cuisine? Well, from my culture, uh, there is uh, something called luchi alurdam. Uh, it's like, a, it's like chole batore, but in a bit different way. It's like uh, made out of wheat and it's deep fried and then you have curry along with it. It's really nice. I miss that from my culture. But then India has got different food in different parts. Yeah, yeah. So you know. Chinese, I, buy yeah. Is, um, I like these. I like these balls, mochi, but the fresh yeah, mochi, mochi, I mochi. mochi. I like these, I but the fresh ones. But that's Indian too. Oh, and I remember these. We used to eat these crackers. Yes. Uh, do you remember Our my friend? Uh, my friend, we had a friend uh, from, yes. Um, uh, Japan. Taiwan. No, Taiwan. Alex. It was from Taiwan, and he brought. Alex. These. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Alex. He brought them. Um, uh, Good memories, good memories. But also, like, there is a, something porridgey that uh, Susan always used to have, and I buy them sometimes because they are so nice. This is what I love. 
This is so nice. Black sesame? It's a black sesame cereal. It's like porridge. So oh. you put uh, hot water and you mix it, but it tastes way better than porridge. Okay, okay. And but it's so, it's like, it's super anything. expensive. And like these ones, the, um, the instant You have to get the <laughs> spicy one, the spicy, of the course. hot chicken flavor ramen. It's like so <laughs> spicy that if you eat just a little bit, you are going to like have stomach ache. Okay, what type of beer? Oh yeah, they had a tiger. Yes, that's tiger. That's, that's a Singapore. This is the Singha. This is Singtao. But, but like Ichiban. Look, they had this in um, in Sri Lanka. Oh. They had this in Sri Lanka. Yeah, it's a very famous beer. Um, no, I should. Oh, guys, if you watched my if you watched my um, Sri Lankan series, I love the ginger beer. I love the ginger beer, but this is not um, from Sri Lanka. Where is this from? The sake. What it's, is that? It's like a very dry white wine. Ah. It's like Japanese. Have you tried it before? Oh yes, several times. Whenever we go for a Korean barbecue, uh, my friend and I, we always get a flashy of sake. Flashy means bottle. Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> you, I am doing like all the German You put stuff. all the German Jesus words. Let me paper rolls. Yeah, and then you put in vegetables and yes, things. Yes, and then you wrap good. it, yeah. yeah. It's really nice. And you have it with sauce, like sweet and sour or something like that. And like this, this is a matcha mix. Matcha mix, what is it? No, you put it's in like a matcha mix, you put hot water in ah. it and it's like a bubble tea. Oh, and like the coconut water. Clan actually loves the coconut water. I love coconut water. You do? Yes. I, you know I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we so do good. love a big good bag of rice, right? Yeah, it's like 10 kilos so you can do exercise and sweets <laughs> with it. <laughs> All sorts of different... Oh, there's more of this bread where you dip into the garlic pepper. Rice. Look, garlic pepper. <laughs> so funny. This is Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. Yeah, of course, KFC, the original. <laughs> the original. Lecker, That's the lecker. lecker means tasty. Okay. All the pasta, different types of noodles. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. And like, we didn't even walk for like 10 minutes. No, in like five minutes. In one street, you get like an Asian supermarket, Turkish supermarket. It's There's so seven cool. supermarkets over here, actually. <laughs> you live in a really, a really cool street, though. And like this one is nice. This one is like a pandan cake mix. It's a very traditional in a Asia as well. It's okay. like uh, from the leaves of pandan. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's green in color. That's why it's the the uh, yeah. thing is green. And these are the ones that I remember. Also, Alex bought them as well. I How remember. much are these? Two ninety nine. I think they are uh, they are uh, under discount. Ah. Uh, Funfzig uh, Rabat. 50 Yeah. It's very good. 50% discount. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> so we found the dumplings. Custard. And the custard bow. You look custard. They are very nice actually. I've tried them before. They're so good. I've never tried the... I mean, I did try the dumplings. I prefer though the Nepalese momos, I have to say. Oh, I, 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 I think my I love because I've tried a lot of one. them. They're very nice. I like them a lot, but they're very good. Um, and you should also try Korean chicken wings. They are so nice and crispy. There's too much. I probably have to move here to try everything. <laughs> no, no, well, no. there is a lot of cuisine, <laughs> so yeah, probably. Cool. Oh, I buy them a lot. I buy them a lot. Oh. What is that? The dried roses. I like the ah, smell the dried for the tea. Oh, I've seen that before. Pani, what is it again? It's Indian cottage ah, cheese. Ah, that's why. Yes. Do you yes. like? Do you I like love it, it so much. I prefer it better than tofu. It's ah, so creamy okay. and nice. And when you uh, fry it, it's like heaven. <laughs> vegetarian people can have it actually. Right. Nice. Because it's vegetarian. Okay, ghee. Yeah, and ghee, yes. Yeah, ghee, I had that actually in Pakistan. Um, um, ghee is very famous in my made country. Family that, made that themselves, homemade ghee. Yes, my, my, my uh, mother's family used to also make it as well. Okay. The oil. That's in your like fridge? 
Chinese mushroom and chili oil. What? How how spicy do you eat? Do you eat less spicy than in back home? In yeah, I eat less spicy than back home. I mean, I can't handle too much spice at the moment, but uh, in terms of chili, but I love spices. And uh, this has been faced in chili oil, but it's not hot. Where is it from? Is it is that from China? It's from China, yeah, yeah, and it's okay. a very good brand, Lagonma. It's okay. a very good brand, yeah. <laughs> and they have chicken flavor with tofu as well. It's very nice and crispy. <laughs> All right, I wouldn't touch that. Oh, it's it's not uh, hot. It's just like um, flavors. Flavored. Hi. All right. <laughs> All them chili paste and stuff. And yes, these chili pastes are very good. Actually, very very nice. This is a very famous brand, the India Gate. India Gate. Well, we have it. Would, in my... would you buy that, or do you um, buy other like uh, normal I rice? Buy uh, no, I buy. Uh, if I'm buying rice, I buy basmati rice, and yeah. I would buy from this one. Among other brands as well, I buy this one yeah. too. Yeah, you taught me how to uh, clean my yes, rice. Yes, always <laughs> clean your rice because otherwise, like you know, my friend actually said. Uh, once uh, over here, uh, one of my friends is like, Oh, uh, basmati rice is uh, quite sticky, and I just went like this. No, basmati rice is never sticky. But yeah, you have it's, to clean it. Yes, you have to clean it and you don't overcook it because if you overcook it, it sticks. Yeah. I think it's really the Asian way. Yes, they, <laughs> yes. Exactly. Don't do it on a red light. <laughs> we're not crossing on a red light, but we actually do. If you're in Germany, you don't cross on a red light. Ah. Right, David? And yes. we cross no always cross on a red light. No, <laughs> never. And we actually, and we actually crossing the street, um, not at the traffic light. So you know that I'm pretty scared. Every time in Asia, I'm so scared. Fast, fast, fast! Oh, we catch it. We catch it. <laughs> yeah, uh, by the by the bike. <laughs> Yay! We survived. I'm, I'm always so scared. I have to. Glenn has to hold my hand to cross the street because I'm always like so scared that I get knocked down from a um, from a car, guys. So, so we actually finished our international uh, food tour. Um, Turkish, Asian. <laughs> so we yeah, go home. The life in our own hands, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we go home and we're gonna get changed and then head for food. I'm gonna finish the video here. We're gonna go for food later. You're gonna see that in the next video. Hope you like that. And if you do, please like and subscribe. And I see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for future content.